Uh, hello. I am Nipperful. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a true crime reaction this time to a channel called The Villains. <laughs> a little ditty called Cop realizes he's going to jail for being a P word. So, yikes. <laughs> Can't say I'm looking forward to this video, but it should be interesting. So, uh, buckle up, buckaroos. Uh, let's get into the video. <laughs> Got my emotional support pumpkin for this one, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello, Bochi. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hello. You need to go on the pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We've got emotional support pumpkin. Topped by emotional support dog. <laughs> Aw, you good boy, Sammy. What you watching? He's looking at something. And I, I can't figure out what it is. He's looking very intently, like he's watching something. <laughs> it's kind of weirding me out a little bit. But, um, yeah, let's get on with the video, I guess. Ooh. I, I have never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. These were the remarks of the judge who presided over the case of Jalen Fleer, a San Diego County Sheriff's deputy. The 27-year-old looked clean as a whistle in his day-to-day -day routine, but a private investigation caught up to him, leading to an interrogation that led to a search, which then okay, led okay, to okay. a reveal of over 20 felons. I, I think he's settled now. He's still... Well, no. What's up? It's because I'm talking. No. Come on then. Settle down. There you go, good boy. Alright. Dog hair in my lip gloss. Lovely. Twenty charges. Twenty charges. In this video, Jeez. we'll take you through the interrogation that finally put the <laughs> That was so Canadian of me. Balls. Oh. Jeez. Special thanks to 5-0 Patrol okay, for okay. sharing the original interrogation. What's going on with you, dog? Do you want me to hold like this? Is that it? You need to be secure. What are you watching? <sighs> I'm pretty sure my office is haunted. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> oh, what's up? It's okay. Shh. I filmed a reaction video to... Uh, the Alcatraz episode of Ghost Files and um, probably nothing but there was a few strange little noises that caught him that was like a possibly an EVP it sounded like a voice to me but um, yeah ever since then <laughs> the dog and the cat have been acting real weird but um, that's a story for another day go watch that video if you want to shameless self plug <laughs> Let's try watching this video again. Hope for this dog just settles down. Sorry, guys. Clip. Jalen Fleer was a San Diego County Sheriff's deputy who once starred for Santana High School in baseball and football. He is married uh. and was expecting a baby at the time, but instead came the San Diego County Crime Stoppers who received tips regarding the sheriff's quote unquote lewd behavior. Ew. Their two month long investigation led. Why is it always the all Americans that are the P words? It's <laughs> overcompensating, I guess. Do a lot of evidence that needed answers. Mm. This is how the interrogation went down. The story with us, of course, in regards to the, um, the report that we're investigating. Okay. You're not. It's interesting that they're doing interrogation in this, like, conference room. Um. Maybe that's just for his privacy, being a police officer. Um, we watched on the channel um, another JCS video, um, an interview with a sociopath, I believe it's called, sorry, um, Stephanie Lazarus, and she was a police officer as well. They, they definitely had her in an interrogation room, but I think it was under, like, the pretense that they were interviewing her for... Uh, a source on an art theft case, but uh, I don't know, maybe they'll put some explanation. 
as to why they're not in an interrogation room, but who knows? There's a camera. So they've got everything they need. Oh my gosh, sorry. I keep on. Microphone. Okay, okay. Well, it says, not under arrest. Not under arrest, and you are not being detained. Do you understand? Yes. Because the interrogator is acting upon tips from a non-profit organization, she has to set the disclaimer that this interrogation is voluntary and that he can leave whenever he wants to. He can even choose to not answer any important questions and can request a lawyer anytime he wants. But the interrogator has such a simple and open communication with Jalen that he looks at this interrogation like a conversation. Later on, he starts to open up about himself. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. What's up? Is there more for something? Yeah, I'm going to put this dog in his bed. Just bear with me. Right, back. Just me and the pumpkin. <laughs> the puppy has taken his leave. <laughs> All there. I got a job here. Worked at Dick's Sporting Goods before this. Um, so this is my second job. Okay. So I work in with this department. We're coming up on five years now. So baseball seemed pretty important to you back yeah, in high school. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what position? Uh, pitcher. Cool. How's your arm holding up? I mean, soreness every once in a while, but I haven't thrown it for a while. So. Yeah, no, it still kills me. Um, I played softball. Okay, nice. So right. I was, yeah, um, third, short, center, and pitcher. I know this has nothing to do with anything, but, man, kind of crazy to me how there's, like, so much emphasis on sport when you're going up and it's seen as this like big heroic thing but it absolutely ruins your freaking body like ruins your body like these people in their 30s maybe i don't know probably 20s for him uh because it doesn't seem like that long ago that he's been in high school from where he's talking but who knows especially people who play like rugby just absolutely ruins their bodies like Late 20s, early 30s, needing, you know, surgeries. I know somebody who needed a shoulder replacement, like, in their 20s. It's just insane. Stop it. <laughs> no, I can't really say that because people are effing obsessed with sports. But, like, I don't know. Just, there's better shit to do, you know? Like, <laughs> it's probably going to be one of the most controversial things I've ever said on the internet. But, fuck's sakes, guys. Like, God. Just get a hobby that's not ruining yourself. <laughs> You're in San Diego? Yeah, down um, at Hilltop Indian Valley. And have you always worked corrections? Uh, yeah, I attempted to go out to the patrol, went to the academy. Things didn't work out there, so I came back here. Oh, so he's a corrections <laughs> officer. <sighs> Am I wrong in thinking corrections officer is just like strictly jail or um prison i'm gonna look that up it's a man with me right yeah so it is pretty much um as i suspected correctional officers oversee individuals who've been arrested and are waiting for trial and police officers are like out on the beat that type of thing yes. googly googly moogly interesting yeah so um i mean there's only going to be one thing worse than being a former police o po <laughs> being a former police officer and a, a PDF file in prison. It's being a prison officer and a PDF file who's gone to prison. He's he's gonna <laughs> I, his life life's not gonna be good for him. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's good. I mean, come on, come on. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, married, recently got married this last year in September. Okay. Um, we have a kid due on the way in August. Oh, okay. Boy, girl. Boy. Very nice. Poor kid. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Having a freaking yeah. scumbag for dad. For oh no, I said looking forward to Oh, looking forward yeah. I thought you said unfortunately. I'm no, like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, and your wife, how long have you known her? Uh, actually preschool. Um, yeah, we met in preschool. Damn. Ways. In separate ways. <laughs> yeah, I just have this image of these like two toddlers being like, "Yes, farewell. May our paths cross again." Like, <laughs> went our separate ways. 
things like I was trying to date her, but she was playing playing it hard to get again. Yeah. Um. Then college came around again. Was he trying trying to date her in preschool? This guy's weird. I don't. I don't know where this story's going, dude. I tried again, and I actually ran into her in PV like a little, about three years ago. Okay. And then, yeah, we reconnected then and got, got married, Smart. got a family, bought a house. Um, and I hear your schedule recently changed. How do you feel about oh, the schedule it's change? Lost. Yeah, seven, twelve and a half in a row kills you. Seven off is nice, but it flies by. So. Yeah, and then the seven drag yeah. once you're here. So at least you're on your last day today, yeah. right? This entire discussion is important because it will create a pattern of events that could lead to a mm. bigger crime. First, Ooh. she establishes the background. And now she moves on to the place where the crime happened, social media. So, uh, <sighs> how about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. We got caught in the academy with her stuff, some stuff. But, huh. uh, Can you tell me about that? or? Um, I mean, it was with another recruit in the academy, but... Okay. So you're uh, communicating with another recruit? I was. Back in, I stopped. Everything got cut off. Um, got rid of... I mean, I didn't delete the Snapchat. I just got to delete the app, so... Mm, didn't, uh, didn't shut down the account, did you? Just deleted the app. Interesting. Scumbag. Loser. Douche. Nothing, uh... Above board about this individual, it sounds like. Okay. The lies. I saw on Facebook, just because I like to jot down everybody's social media when I can. Um, what's your Facebook login? Like your um, username? Uh, I think just like Jalen Fleer. It's your name? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then you said Instagram? Sorry? Instagram, yeah. Okay. What's your Instagram username? Uh, And then you He's said starting you to get a bit, uh, a bit sussy about this line of questioning, isn't he? <laughs> he knows he's in some shit. If you did have it, what was it? Um, just Jalen Fleer. Jalen yeah. yeah, feeling uncomfortable. He's feeling the heat. So the one that you had there... And feeling the pressure! Been deleted or just, that the... just delete the app. I think it's, I think it's still there. And w I know when it comes to um, yeah, he's Facebook, definitely not liking this at all, is he? Address. Do you know yeah. what email address is connected to it? <laughs> and then your Instagram account, what same email? I think, I think so, yeah. Okay. And I know sometimes with Snapchat, they'll have you either sign up with a phone number or an email. Uh, I believe it's my phone number. You can just touch it. Yeah, you can just touch it. Mm. That feels. That's, that's so weird. Introducing the. Excuse me, Manscaped? Scandalized. <laughs> Your balls will thank you. <laughs> oh, this is an inappropriate commercial to have on this video. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow. Sex crimes. Jesus. Not okay. Okay. Very cool. So, he's um, definitely feeling the pressure there, isn't he? Look at him. Just absolutely shitting his pants. <laughs> I'm here for it. Okay. Very cool. So, um... I love how, like, chill she is. Bless her. <laughs> She's got her bright... Bright pink pen. Oh, yeah. Mm, very cool. Social media guy. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you. Counts. The interrogator is trying to piece Jalen's social accounts with the anonymous You're tips so that boss, the connection lady. can be verified. You're a boss. By now, Jalen is too open with his social accounts, and it took him this long to ask the obvious question. Mm. Oh, do you have any questions for me before I kind of... Um, I will ask what this is about. Yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, a Crime Stopper report. God damn, dude, what were you up to? Oh, brutal. Um, uh, we did receive um, a picture um, that um, 
I think we know what kind of picture that is. A selfie of the uh, this down low variety, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's definitely me. I'm the gross one. Okay, so um, this picture right here. How old were you when it was taken? Oh, he's using his high school pictures. Ew! Oh, gross. What a loser. Mm-hmm. Have you ever used this picture on any social media site? Um, I think it was Snapchat back in the day, yeah. Okay. Right. Have you ever shared this picture with anybody on Snapchat? Creeps are on Snapchat. Just creeps. I, have, for the record, never used Snapchat. Not even once. <laughs> the whole idea of whatever you post just disappearing from the internet and there being no record of it always just seemed very, very sussy to me. <laughs> like, Just asking for trouble, if you know what I mean. Just asking for trouble. Um, yeah, probably my wife, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously I talked to other girls back in the day, too, but I can't remember. Right okay. Um, if you had to guesstimate how many times you may have shared the photo, how many times? That one, maybe just a couple times, once or twice. Okay, so definitely to your wife. Yeah. Okay, so you've used that photo for your wife, and you were about 20 years old in the photo. You did share it on Snapchat, um, and then maybe some other girls you were talking to? I mean, yeah, this was a long time ago, so I don't really remember who it was. Okay. Um, have you ever posted it as, like, your profile photo, or no, that one ever no. posted it on Instagram? Oh, I forgot to ask you, are your accounts, is your Instagram and your Facebook, are they private? To add somebody. Yeah, I believe I have that. You can't do that. He's thinking real hard while he's answering these questions, and they. Yeah, it can't just be anyone. So that one's at least a little bit better, where it's like you have to actively search for somebody, right? You in the photo, um, and is that a gross font? Is that gross font? Yeah, it's Emma? gross font. Okay, cool. This picture here was the first piece of evidence. Mm. The interrogator wanted to know how the quote unquote anonymous tip could get a hold of a selfie like that. You can't download pictures of each other on Snapchat unless you actually send them. Never uploaded on Facebook and Instagram. Again, something I don't know about Snapchat. <laughs> I'm not aware of the inner workings other than there's a lot of uh, a lot of creeps on there. If I'm honest, so many Snapchat horror stories I've heard. So this means that he intentionally sent this picture to someone who is, according to the interrogator, a quote unquote young female on Snapchat. Ugh. Based on Gross. Jalen's facial expressions, you can tell that he's now realizing where this is going. You're he's special. fucked up. I know up. that um, you were every seven days on and seven days off. What is your wife's schedule? She's every Friday, Saturday off. Um, day shift, so typical nine to nine to five. Okay, so she works nine to five and you work like the complete opposite schedule? Depends. Every three months we rotate days and nights. Okay. And how long have you been on nights now? Nights now? Probably... Hmm. Gives him a lot of free time. So right now, and I'll go over the behavior with you. Yeah. <laughs> you might want that fucking lawyer, buddy. You piece of poo. You know, we're investigating allegations that were made that you were communicating with a younger female on Snapchat, and potentially some material might have been shared. Okay. Um, some photos, just some images. Dogs at the office door. Just bear with me. I don't stuff like that so we of course want to be able to hear what happened from your side if that in fact did occur or if it didn't occur we want to always yeah, we talk. the interrogator now learns his schedule which will help her fit the pattern of the investigation <laughs> he once again jumps in to ask if this is something that he should have his lawyers on once again the interrogator's response puts him at ease that he's not mm -hmm. being treated as a criminal and they're only on the investigating allegations which they do to criminals it it never kind of ceases to amaze me, really, how they always say in the beginning of these interviews, you can leave at any time, blah, 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 blah. You know, this is uh, completely voluntary. You don't have to give us any information. You don't want to. And yet they spill their guts every fucking time. <laughs> like, come on! Only investigating. To be fair, I'm thankful. I'm extremely thankful that criminals are very stupid. I like that. Alligator. What the hell is with these adverts on this video? 
It's inappropriate, YouTube. Yes. Here we go. The first time she mentioned texting the quote-unquote young female on Snapchat, he didn't respond much. But this time, he gave an answer that led to the revelation of his Tinder profile. And so oh. your sight, if that in fact did occur, or if it didn't occur, we want to always Everyone that I talked to, I mean, was about my age. I remember. Okay. Uh, so who have you talked to? My wife. Um, I mean, this was back then when I had, I had Tinder. He describes that the only use of Tinder was when he met an ex-girlfriend. They dated for three years, and then he got married to his wife, who he had known since preschool. Now, in case you're wondering why we haven't displayed the second picture, it's because it's a nude picture. Ew. He recalls that the only person who had access to this picture was his <laughs> ex's Tinder account and his girlfriend. Love that wife. editing. <laughs> his wife is loyal enough to not leak it, and even though he had a bad breakup, his ex would not leak that picture. You can tell he's denying to share the real source of this picture because deep down he's yeah. well aware of who he sent it to. So, I mean, I met girls on Tinder and stuff back in the day. Yes, Fucking gross, dude. Who would save a picture like that? The new maybe guy would save it. Not that one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this photo, right? It's just no, you. No, I agree. I just, I don't know how it would get in the hands of a younger person. Um, Surely... I don't know, maybe it is an older photo, because seeing he's using all of his young photos to, you know, sext young girls, which is freaking gross. But surely there's, like, some sort of metadata they'd be able to tell when the photo was taken, if it was a newer photo. Okay. Noivis! conversations that were exchanged between you and this person. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, you haven't talked to anybody younger, though. Not on Snapchat? Not recently. Not recently, no. He Lies. continues to deny sending this picture, but also sending this picture to a younger person, quote-unquote, recently. The word recently implies that he may have sent it to someone a long while back who he's not trying to disclose. Hmm. Now, you said all of your social media accounts are private, right? And I know you're a law enforcement officer, so I know that you've also taken the time to make your plates confidential. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Um, Come on, Sean. Down. Plates. <laughs> so you're still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's, is it black or gray? It's gray. Okay. And you got tinted windows on it still? Yeah. Hmm. So, Oof, um, tinted windows. Uh, Creepy. You know, when it comes to the photo, I really kind of just, I really want to understand why this person would be in possession with the photo, but the only one who could really help me with that is you. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't tell you that. I don't know. Okay. Well, so I mean, surely. If the story you told earlier was that you haven't used Snapchat in years, and you've deleted it, but you've not deactivated the account, you would start trying to tell them that maybe somebody hacked your account. But then again, I don't know how Snapchat works if it keeps, like, photos on it. I'm assuming it doesn't, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. Just, mm. Some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. Okay. Um, so is there any mm -hmm. reason why the person would say they're you, they're you and share your information? It sounds like it'd be someone that knows me, then. Um, well, um, we know that you're a baseball player. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people know that. Yeah. So, so that information is kind of shared. Okay. Um, your work stuff. So you baseball? Oh! <laughs> Specifically the transition to seven days on, seven days off. Really? I haven't shared anything like that recently. Mm -hmm. Let's take it back a little bit. The reason why the interrogator used the word recently is mm. because the sender knew his current work yeah, schedule, something that was enforced just a few months before this interrogation. Now the information's not adding up, and it's clearly implicating mm. Jalen. Now we have a username, J178211. 17 is the college so, jersey number. Eight. You want to come over here? Here we go. 82 was the high school jersey number, and 2011 was the graduation year. Mm. Now, he claims to have, quote-unquote, never heard of this account, 
but it suggests that this account sent the nude pictures. Hm, things are not looking good for him. <laughs> shared any images of your penis with anyone? Yeah. Okay. And how many times would you say you've done? A lot. A lot. Can you, Crepe. Can you explain that a little bit more to me? I mean, no, to be fair, I'm not really one to judge, do whatever you want, you know, a healthy sex life is a healthy sex life, but um, when it comes to sharing your penis with minors, mm, not down with that, that's fucking weird, bro, stop it, get some help. Junior high, Jesus you Christ. Videos of you having sex with anyone? With anyone? No, I've always had personal videos of me. Well, I, that was a bit. Okay. And my ex actually had one, but. What does your ex look like? She's blonde. She's blonde? Okay. Um, so you've never shared any videos? No, I have not, no. Just still shot. So, um, I'm guessing that's not the truth. To Crime Stopper that we're investigating and what the Snapchat doing? account, um, and of course oh. your phone number and everything in connection with it, and some of the combinations of numbers and everything there, you can understand why obviously yeah, no, it's, we have a growing it's, concern. It's, um, and it's not adding up, Jalen. Yeah. Right. Um, Creep. Even more, like either someone. Can I ask what you said? You got new ones too. There were images that were shared. Yes, that. Can um, I ask anyone? I'm sure you got them here. Can I ask to see what they are? You want to see the picture? Yeah, so I can get an idea. Um, so. Why is he not asked for a lawyer or left? <laughs> it's a police officer. What, what are you doing? What's going on? Are you okay? What are you twitching? Just lie down, baby. It's all right. There you go. Yeah. I know. I'm actually have a clear shot of one. Yeah, so I can't I can't okay, I understand. print yeah. out those pictures. I would pictures. a lawyer because this is kind of I'm uncomfortable with this. This is weird. So, of course, one. like um, you definitely have the ability to do that and of course yep. you know this is completely voluntary. Right, um, right. And so um, I just don't want to get caught up on something. I'm working this career. I don't want to get caught up on something. I fully understand. Yeah. So, um, you can, yes, 100% elect not to speak with us. You are not under arrest at this time. Yeah, I um, Obviously, given the fact that we're here and the fact that we're speaking to you, I know that your bosses are going to want to speak no with you afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In this part, the interrogator has confirmed some details which are vital to the investigation. Thanks. It was only after the discussion of the nudes that he finally decided not to share further. Mm. But another interrogator in the room, who was just observing, entered to ask three questions of her own. I have a couple of questions that yeah, you don't want to answer, or can I ask you the questions? Because you can choose to answer or not answer. So if I ask you a question and you're like, I don't want to answer that, yeah, you can no, tell me that. Um, one of my questions was, I think I missed it, but when was the last time that you had Snapchat? Because uh, I know you said you deleted it, but I didn't hear when you deleted it. I never, I just deleted the app. I deleted oh, that when okay. I was in the academy. In the academy. Yeah. When did you go to the academy? It's like a little over a year ago. A year, a year ago, yeah. so in 2019? Yeah, right at the beginning of 2019, January. Okay, and then um, what years did you go to college? At Rose Man. Sounds like your wife had the right idea dodging your ass in high school and preschool. <laughs> Fucking weirdo, bro. I just want to make sure that we all understand each other. When my partner says um, a younger female, yeah. you understand that we mean someone under the age of 18? Yeah, that's obviously why you're here. You, you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? Uh, I have a sister, yeah. She's 19. 20, 20 sorry. Oh, okay. And then um, my last question was, when she was asking you about the house and the decorations of your house. In any of your rooms in your house, do you have... That new, um, that new look where they have like the barn door, um, outer rail type thing. It's like a country. I don't know what you would call it. I see it a lot on, yeah. on like yeah. those DIY shows. Yes. Do you have those in your I house? Do have one, yeah. Okay. Um, 
Here's what the three questions were confirming. I'm assuming Firstly, there's probably a picture the with that in the background. The so chances mm -hmm. are that he could reinstall, use, and later delete it to look clean to his wife. Mm -hmm. After all, their schedules don't match, so he might reinstall it when she's not around. Secondly, the college years were confirmed just to set a timeline of activities. And the mm -hmm. third question was just a clarification in case he later ends up denying what they meant. After these three questions, he chose to have a lawyer present and denied answering any more questions. By law, he was free to leave. But that was after he turned over everything to Johnny Law. <laughs> the next step, um, however, I'm going to go ahead and pull some documents here um, for you. So there are a few steps that we're going to be taking after this. Again, you are not being detained by us or anything, but we are acting um, on behalf of the court moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I will give you a chance to read through this. Um, this is a uh, search warrant that was granted this afternoon by a judge. Oh, um, you screwed! Um, does allow <laughs> us, uh, to grab some DNA swabs from you. Okay. Um, DNA swabs, so he's actually... Uh, oh, any God. mobile devices that might be in your possession um, or potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have one. Is it inside your locker? It's on my purse right now. Okay, oh, so we'll, his stomach is dropping out of his ass right now. <laughs> the world is crumbling around you. And I okay. am here for it. Um, additionally, um, Screw you. it does allow us to have access to your vehicle. Okay. You vehicle suck. It's parked a few blocks away. Okay, do you remember exactly where you were? Mm -hmm. It's over across from Caps Pizza over there. Caps Pizza? Yeah. And is it like in a parking, it's in a parking lot. lot? Okay. Um, is it like he a is, pizza? um, yeah. he's okay. shitting it right now, Caps isn't he? Pizza. Let me open that. Um, so the warrant does allow for us to also process your vehicle. You guys are going to take my vehicle? No, we're going to process it here. After that, we will also have access um, to your locker. Are your vehicle keys inside your locker? Uh, my vehicle keys are in my vehicle right now. They're in your vehicle? Yeah. So you have a code? I have a code. Okay. Would you mind sharing that code with us? Well, the warrant allows for us to have access to your vehicle. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's realizing how screwed he is. And if they're processing his car, if this is the jail or facility where he works, everybody's going to see. Oh. <laughs> justice is sweet. Sweet justice. Now he's realized that there's no turning back as the so-called anonymous tips turned yeah. into an investigation and finally turned into a search warrant for everything he owns. Literally everything. Everything. <laughs> the for officer real. was later put on desk duty for a couple of weeks until the investigation <laughs> went its course. His DNA swabs and everything were collected, and then in came the shocking revelations. In the court case of People versus Fleer, there were four victims between the ages of 12 and 14, but 12. prosecutors oh. alleged Fleer to have Four. contacted more than oh. 40 who described themselves as minors. Dude, that's just fucking brutal, isn't it? That's a lot of kids, dude. Like, I was like... Wow. I was, I was expecting it. To be like, it's still like wrong and disgusting, like 16, 17 year olds, but 12 and 14, like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. The prosecutors read graphic letters of his encounters in the court. Oh, Jesus. He even engaged in sex acts with a 14 year old girl and contacted numerous other underage girls over social media with the aim of meeting up for sex. Poor girls. Count six said on or about April 8th that Fleer unlawfully participated in an act of oral copulation with a person under the age of 16. And count seven and Piece eight said Fleer lewdly committed a lascivious act upon the body of a child 14 or 15 years of age. Oh, Jalen Fleer pled guilty to 20 gross, felony dude. and misdemeanor charges and was sentenced to 10 to 12 years in state prison with no probation. Not long enough! He'll have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Fuck yeah, dude. What started as an investigation in 2021 led to the arrest of this madman in 2021. 
At the same time, we have to commend the efforts by the interrogator here, who was able to take out so much of the information from him voluntarily. (laughs) But even if he had refused to talk, the search warrant had already come through, so there was no point in hiding anything. However, considering that he was charged with 20 sex offenses, do you think that a 10 to 12 year sentence was enough? No. Make sure to tell us in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Dog. <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm almost done. You know, if he went back on my shoulder, I'd be done sooner. Hmm? Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Good boy. Oh, well, that was a hell of a thing, wasn't it? 12 and 14. Oh, like 40? 40 kids, dude? No wonder Crime Stoppers got involved. Jesus Christ. Crazy, crazy. 10 to uh, 14 years. Definitely not long enough. Was it 10 to 14, 10 to 12? I don't know. However long, not long enough. Jail. For life. A clear danger to society. And uh, thank God for organizations like Crime Stoppers and uh, for investigators like that, uh, that lady who did such a stellar job getting that loser to give up all that information. Also goes to show, ladies, trust your instincts on that guy who keeps on trying to get with you. <laughs> you know, just because prospects seem to dry up a little bit in your uh, late 20s, early 30s, doesn't mean you should date the guy that you always felt red flags with before. Because he's quote unquote got his shit together. You know what I'm saying? We've all been there. Don't do it. Don't do it. He was a loser then, he's a douchebag now. I mean, I know that's not the case. For all scenarios, sometimes you, you gotta give somebody a second chance, you know. But um, all I'm saying is uh, there's a lesson to be learned about uh, trusting your instincts. Right, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, goodbye. Say bye. Say bye, Sammy.